In honor of Mexican Heritage Month, it brings me great joy to share that after six long weeks of fighting, Blue Beetle, right? Blue Beetle, the 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 movie that they wouldn't shut up about. It's the first Mexican superhero or something like that. It doesn't matter. Because get a load of this. After six long weeks, Blue Beetle has finally surpassed its production budget at the box office. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is a huge win for all those, uh, you know, people behind this movie that were telling us we needed to watch this movie because this movie's about, you know, Mexican struggle or something like that. doesn't matter. My point is that it finally did it. This is a huge win. A huge win for Blue Beetle. What's that? Hold on, let me finish reading this real quick. The movie has lost tens of millions of dollars. So it still lost money? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, I thought I just read that it surpassed its box office, uh, its production budget. Box office analyst predicts Blue Beetle will be another massive flop for Warner Brothers, predicts it will lose around $100 million. Jesus Christ. Listen. Regardless, whether this movie lost Warner Brothers tens of millions of dollars or a hundred million dollars, that is besides the point. Because again, the people behind this movie were telling us that it's not about the money, it's not even about the story because it wasn't any good. It's about the fact that Blue Beetle was meant to send a message. It was meant to teach us something. As you can see here, Blue Beetle director confirms film included themes of displacement, colorism, and gentrification. That's right. This guy right here, his name is Angel Manuel Soto, is going to teach us what it's like to be Mexican-American in the United States because, of course... His last name is Soto, so, so you know, he knows, right? Oh, he's Puerto Rican, so he's not even Mexican. Huh? Wait, so this Puerto Rican dude is going to show us what it's like being Mexican-American? So what is he going to make this movie about? Oh, he made this movie about... Oh, no. Oh, is that why there were so many like, kind of racist things in this movie, like the whole taco thing, like, they made George Lopez into, like, a stereotypical Mexican dude from East L.A. Okay, it's starting to make perfect sense. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I was, like, wondering, why is this movie kind of racist a little bit? Like, the Blue Beetle movie, it was, it was like, the whole taco thing and and all that stuff with George Lopez. It, it was like, who made this movie? They seem kind of out of touch. Oh, it's because the dude is Puerto Rican. Okay. So he has no idea what it's like for Mexican-Americans, right? Okay. Well, that makes perfect sense now. That makes perfect sense. That That's why this movie lost Warner Brothers tens of million, a hundred million, doesn't matter. It lost money for Warner Brothers because the movie was was trash. It was complete hog shit. Okay, that that's why. And and all honestly, I know I said do not go watch this movie in the movie theater. I, 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 don't watch this movie at all. Once this movie drops on HBO, don't even watch it. This Blue Beetle movie was an embarrassment, a horrible movie that you you should never watch. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. And like always, don't forget to subscribe. Sensational.